Welcome back, Wolfpack. Vrillis here, and this is how to use slacking. Slacking is, like, insane when it comes to the base stats. That it has legendary Pokemon base stat totals. That Kyogre and Groudon have a 670 base stat total, and other legendary Pokemon have 680. And when you look at those stats, you know, these are some ridiculous stats. 150 on the hit points, 160 on the attack, 100 on the defense, 95, well, the special attack and special defense, not the best. Special defense would be awesome if it was, like, swapped with the special attack, but then this Pokemon would be, would be absurd. And then you also have a good, decent amount of speed. We have mentioned in the past that 100 speed, it isn't what it used to be, but it's still really good on a Pokemon with that much hit points and that much attack. However, the drawback to slacking, it has the truant ability. That means it's not going to do anything every other turn. And that, that is the drawback, that you have this, like, absurdly powerful Pokemon for one turn, and that doesn't do anything the next turn. So you do have to form your team and your strategy around it if you want to make the most out of slacking. After that, it's a pure normal typing. Works out really well. One weakness that it has to worry about with all that hit points, you know, it works out pretty well. And then it has a strong neutral hit with stab against a lot of Pokemon. And then we look at immunity to ghost, everything else is neutral. And then we can hop into Pokemon Showdown to see how to use slacking. And we have a special guest, Ace Trainer Troy, because he uses slacking quite a bit. So what do you have to say about slacking before we talk about movesets? Like, strategically, how do you use this guy? Uh, you really just gotta be safe knowing that your Truant ability will stop you for that one turn. But if you can get that one-hit KO on that first turn, you have it if you outspeed. The Giga Impact will definitely one-hit KO any frail Pokemon without a Sash. So you don't have to worry about one Pokemon, especially in 3v3 Battle Spot. If you take out that one Pokemon, boom, like then they got two more left, and then you're halfway, more than halfway to win the victory at least. A general set I like to run is you can give it a choice fan if you really want that max attack. Give it that adamant nature. You are just going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Giga Impact is going to be a 225 stab move with only 90 actually accuracy, so that's perfect. Uh, you can give it Fire Ice Punch, uh, Fire Punch generally, or those Ferrothorns that should really hit hard. Ice Punch. So, kind of so it sounds like you're just going to make slacking a one for one that with choice band and all of its coverage it's going to pretty much knock out something no matter what that you oh, know yeah. ice punch for the four times super effective fire punch for ferrothorn scissor that's four times super effective giga impact is going to steamroll anything else and then earthquake is for the pokemon that would resist you like rock and, yeah, and, and who Steel. knows if so. if you could one for one and if they don't got that other Pokemon with the protect or if they have anything else to get back on if they have anything left yeah it seems like say, a one for one plus that you know you use choice band you blow them up and then you take damage but since you have those legendary stats you're potentially two three hit KO Pokemon unless they have fighting if they don't have fighting then you're still looking to get extra hits in if you always bring it out there at a perfect time like towards the end if you still have it and then their last Pokemon is like a Lissy or any Ferrothorn, I'm pretty sure you can win the game at that point, unless that Ferrothorn right. kind of Leech Seed protects you. So, what do you think about the same idea, except with Choice Scarf? Do you think, like, Choice Scarf without the hit point investment, but with a higher speed? Like, you go Adamant, 252, and then you just use Choice Scarf? That's if you feel like you know for a fact that you're not going to uh, outspeed any of his Pokemon, and you really want to be safe if you know you're going to go against anything fast like a Greninja, or annoyed, yeah, or I feel like it could work out in an interesting way that with the Scarf, you're going to be able to blow up that Pokemon, then you get retaliated with the Truant, but then you still have higher speed than the next Pokemon. So it reduces the amount of Okos you can score, potentially, but then it's just going to make it to where you can secure two instead of potentially one or two. Yeah, I feel like that's the safer option other than Choice Band. Choice Band is if you feel really confident, and Choice Scarf is if that's you want to be if you kind want of to overkill. And choice, yeah. yeah, Choice Scarf is the safer, speedy option. So it's kind of like also what your team needs. If you want a faster Pokemon, run Scarf Slacking, and it's going to work out pretty well. And then with doubles, you can do a lot of fun things in doubles because you have ideas and you have ways to remove Truant. So you have a Pokemon with Skill Swap. Or one cool idea that we were thinking about is that you have Copagrigus. You Ice Punch Copagrigus. That's going to give you Mummy. And then you can run off from there, like Slack Off, Curse, Ice Punch, Earthquake. And Copagrigus can still be a tanky, really tricky kind of Pokemon to deal with. Or I was thinking Smeargle. Moody, Skill Swap, and now you have a Moody Slacking that can attack every turn while using Slack Off, Curse, and Shenanigans. Yeah, funny thing you say about the Copagrigus. I've actually used that before in a free-for-all where I actually Ice Punched the Copagrigus. Did like 40 damage because he maxes uh, defense Yeah, you can't, you're not going to hurt your Copagrigus too much, which is a good thing about using Copagrigus. And I was able to just steamroll, a whole, steamroll his whole team completely, just giga impacting the whole game, and we won. Yeah, so that's slacking, you know, just go be that choice band or choice scarf, 
and then if you want to use in uh, doubles, you can remove the truant ability, and then cool things happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you all have a nice day. Peace.